Hi everyone, this is Octavius, and my video presentation is going to be about one of the most unprecedented forgotten instruments in the bassoon family, the semi-contra bassoon. The semi-contra bassoon is obviously a double reed woodwind instrument, and it's generally pitched between the standard bassoon and the contra bassoon. It is specifically pitched in either F or G, which is respectively a fifth or a fourth below the bassoon since the one that we play is pitched in C. These instruments were mostly utilized in the 18th century and they are considered to be remnants of the predecessor court-based dulcians, which were widely flourished during the Baroque times. semi contra bassoon is pretty much shaped like an oversized bassoon with approximately five to six feet tall with a long descendant vocal. There's little literature exists which indicates that these instruments were used, although it is possible that they have used it to some certain extent, for example, like military bands and such. So as you already know, um, the this particular bassoon construction didn't become a continual thing throughout the years. Otherwise, it would probably be a common practice in terms of our auxiliary instrument playing. And I think part of the reason behind it is that people at the time, specifically the 18th century, had a difficult time figuring out what to call it. There were many names for it obviously the semi-contra bassoon, but there were also other names such as the quince bassoon, the semi-contra bassoon, half-contra bassoon, and such. And I think if there would have been a set in stone term, then it would definitely have been a common practice. Furthermore, there is historical proof um, showing that a lot of musicians and composers and such during those times were really eager to make the semi contra bassoon become a normal practice. For instance, there's the very great um, organist and composer named Charles Marie Widor, uh, who wrote in his book about orchestration, um, expecting that the semi contra bassoon would be added in the orchestra's roster that these instruments were created helps generate this hermeneutic window for musicians, specifically us bassoonists, such as pose questions like, what are the benefits of the semi-contra bassoon? Why is it important? And after doing a bit of research, I genuinely think that having semi-contra bassoon as a common norm would be so beneficial in many ways, such as uh, different sounds. It would be warmer, it would be more rich when comparing the standard bassoon, and uh, also comparing to contra bassoon, the sound would be less robust, less powerful. There would be more harmonies in music making, all, all kinds of repertoire. Uh, also, it would increase the accessibility to more low note solos. And another really important thing is money. It is said that the semi-contra bassoon is more cost-effective than the contra bassoon. And the reason behind that is that the mechanism is very, very similar to a regular bassoon. Um, for contra bassoon, it's the, the um, mechanism is a lot more complex. And it requires way more material and you have to do all different things like such as changing the configuration of the instrument. Um, so yeah, and one last thing I think I wanna make is that you can have a diverse amount of like uh, orchestration, like for instance, like two bassoons, semi-contra, contra. I think it will allow each player to have more of an individualistic role because it is a common practice when there are three bassoons in a contra that the bassoon three is
pretty much playing the same melodic material as the contra bassoon, but just an octave higher. So yeah, it's just a thought. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of my spiel. I'm just gonna conclude this video presentation. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else's and I hope everyone's been safe. And I'll see you soon, bye.